Jesus, like even the Christians should know him. And yeah. a lot of Christians you know, don't Dorothy, know him like that. That's what I was that. thinking. That's, I was thinking, here's heart. a Muslim I'm listening to that's giving this story, and the Christian people, <laughs> that is they don't even heart. understand this. I always say that my heart is more for the church than is for mm. Muslims, uh -huh. because the Lord gave it to me. Yeah. And this message of friendship with the Father, we think Muslims need the Father, but we need to understand, I need to understand every day, I need the Father as much as they need uh -huh. the Father. And I, it's like I need to, because the Father, if you go even all the way back to Old Testament, He is deep love and He is really, yes, one yes. of the things He did, He saved everybody. But sometimes we bring Him low and we call Him a Savior, meaning that you're not more than a Savior. You're only a Savior, wow. like somebody that saved you. He's way more than a Savior, yes. you know. And even we call him a father. Yes, he's father and he's more than a father. And for me, my desire is for all of us to take time every single day and just say, Father, I want to walk with you. Yes, mm -hmm. I want to go share you. I want to share you with other people. I want to go great commission. I always say great commission is not the greatest commission. Your greatest commission is to really get to know God and love that's God. That's what he wants. And that's the daily process. How can I love you and ignore you? Yeah. How can I love you and ignore you? It, you it's a, the greatest calling, if we could all hear it as a Christian, yeah. this is not even for Muslim, is to walk with God. Enoch walked with him and was no and was more. Not. And to me, the way I understand, doesn't have to do anything with good works. Uh, no. It has to do with walking with God, meaning the Father desires you so much and misses you daily that he has to have his time with you. Yes. You know, and that when that foundation is there, we will make the Jew and the Muslim and everybody so jealous because you walk with God and you smell mm. like God. Mm. And everybody, when they smell him, mm -hmm. they want him. But if they smell religion, they want to run away. Yeah, that's exactly you know? right. <laughs> I want that him to come right. back. Boy, I just want what him to come a, back. What a message you have. Hashem, you know. Powerful, powerful wow. it's message. It's the Father. It's a, maybe we could just now and just tell the Father, even the Christians, you know, just tell the Father how much you love Him and tell the Father that I want to commit my life walking with you mm -hmm. before I just go out and share, with, share you with others because mm -hmm. I have to have this story with the Father in you know, all of us, yes. all of us. I always say we as a Christian, it's good to get to our knees and say, Father, I missed you, we missed you, yeah. and we want you. We ask that you forgive us that we've been working for you for so long and neglecting you. And neglecting we, we, we want you, Father. You know, please take us back, yeah. you know. He, yeah. um, one time I had missed a couple of days. I don't like my first morning, part of my morning, I give to him. I missed a couple of days and I went in there the, the next time and he says, I've missed you. Mm. Plainest mm. day, I've missed you. And it just put a thing in my heart. Like, yeah. I missed him. Yeah. My favorite thing to do is sit there and just spend that mm. time with mm. him. Mm. I love Quiet doing it. Time. That's so awesome. And also in my life, I had to, this is very important. I had to understand this over and over again that he has to be number one in my life. Has to be. If my evangelism is number one and he's number two, even if I spend time with him, it's not going to do okay. because he knows he's number two now. He has to be number one all the time. And when he knows he's number one, even if I spend one minute and sit down with him, that's enough because he knows. He is the greatest desire in my heart. Mm -hmm. And then I have all other desires, and which is wonderful. He is the beginning and the end. The moment as a Christian we put him in a second place, everything about our life will become mm -hmm. uncomfortable. What a story. What a story. He what has story. to be number one. <laughs> Just remember, well. we have two billion Christians on earth. Mm -hmm. If two billion people fall in love with God and say to him, you are number one, what's going to happen? The yeah. whole world will say, we want him. Mm. Because yeah. two billion people smell like him. Mm. Yeah. Smell like that deep love. But he has to be mm. number mm -hmm. one. Wow, boy, boy, you've well, inspired I wish, me. <laughs> I wish we didn't wow. have to go. We have to go, but yeah, absolutely. thank you, thank totally. you. Please come back. Yes, absolutely. Because we desperately And you don't live that far away. You can't come back. So yes, yes. we've yes. got Bring to your get wife back with you. Here. So yes. you do some saving yes. too. Thank you, Lord. Right. Lord, thank you for bringing you, him Amen. into Amen. our lives, Father. Yes. I thank you that people's lives will be eternally changed yes. by the words they heard here today. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Well, we're going to.